That is serrated. That. Yeah. You wouldn't want to get stabbed with that, would you? Is that a machete? Yeah, that's a machete. This is just a nasty piece of work. I'm in East London today to meet Courtney Barrett. He has set up Binning Knives Saves Lives, which is an incredible knife amnesty where people can come and drop off anything that they believe could be used as a deadly weapon. He's kindly agreed to show me some of the knives. So these are all the knives we've got. In less than 34 hours. There's uh, around 220, 230, something like that. This is quite clearly, it just says cheese on it. Yep. I mean... This one could do you a lot of damage, huh? It, it really yeah. could. This one looks really old. It's old school. It's actually got um, hall marks on it. But that, that is serrated. That... Yeah. You wouldn't want to get stabbed with that, would you? Is that a machete? Yep, that's a machete. Um, this is just a nasty piece of work. Um, no one in this country would have any need for this. This is what you cut through the jungle for with. This one here wasn't actually dropped into our bin. Look, it's got a velvet inside. This sheet. one, we was actually, I was called and asked to come and collect it um, because the lady couldn't make it to the bin. So I went and collected it just beforehand. Wow. Um, when does this would have been on someone's wall? Yeah, I think it's a decorative thing, but yeah. These are the kind of things we're trying to tell people you don't need them in your house because these are the things people, yeah. people get in an argument and come and grab them. The kids might be scared because they've been picked on by a gang or whatever, you know, you don't know. I think so often people think that, that larger knives do more damage, but that's not the case, is it? Um, well, to be honest with you, uh, my, my point of view is that the smaller the knife, the more prone the, the person who's doing the stabbing is to stab repeatedly. Um, so smaller blades can be more dangerous, really, because they, they, they're used more. I've heard that a, a large proportion of knives used are actually kitchen knives. Yeah, um, around about 70% of knives used in knife crime are kitchen knives. People are clueless until we've told them the facts and figures and that. A lot of people just think knife crime is just to do with gangs and on estates and mm -hmm. doesn't concern them. You know, but we've showed them it does concern you. It can happen to anyone, any place, any time, you know. Anyone could be affected. Yeah. And anyone could be carrying a knife, you yeah. don't know. So with all those knives, what are you going to do with them? Um, basically, we're going to make a statue with them. Um, we've got um, Black Horse Metalworks who have agreed to make, uh, melt the knives down. Um, and we're going to commission a youth group to make a statue with them. Wow. Um, the statue will be dedicated to everyone that's been murdered by a knife in London in 2019. Um, I've got a diagram here oh, on yeah, my phone please. somewhere. Oh my um, God. Say there's 140 deaths this year. Yeah. It's 140 love hearts, hearts making one big love heart. Yeah. On a plinth with all the dates and names, etc. 